Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today in our studio review is the escape simulator. Brings the concept of the escape rooms full circle. What originally started out as an abstraction of a video game mechanic has returned to its original from that delightfully fun to experience with a group of friends. The pandemic might have thwarted our ability to take part in IRL escape rooms for now, but the escape simulator offers an ideal alternative. From the team of the Pine Studio, Escape Simulator does exactly what it says on the tin. It presents you with the 16 themed escape rooms and it starts to figure out the puzzles in each of them. They are really tight spaces making each level an intricate puzzle box that bang to be solved. Each of the 16 rooms are themed around one of three themes. There are Ancient Egypt Collection, a selection of spaceship themed ones and the rest are style a classic manner. Each of the different themes over unique twists to the puzzles keeping things fresh as you play through each room. It's a tricky challenge for the Pine Studios to make each room fresh, but the team has managed to achieve that. I doesn't like feel any of the puzzles are recycled. Gameplay lets you walk around the 3D room freely, but the otherwise akin to a point and a click puzzle like the room. You can pick up and examine items for further clues, or even drag or throw them about. This can sometimes result in the room getting cluttered and confusing, however a happy bin is that for players to store unwanted items, it's a pretty clear when you're about to discard something important. The game is wrapped in incredibly appearing art style, akin to something like the planet coaster or almost the plastiline aesthetics removed from and bought it from the game. Particularly in a point and the click games, gameplay can often descend into the clicking randomly in hope of searching for the right pixel. In Escape Simulator, it's always abruptly clear which their items are important to progress to puzzle forward. This is achieved most via the art style, but also helpful with the icons you add. Much of the fun comes from playing the escape rooms with your pals. Every escape room can be played with up 4 players, just like in real escape room. They offer an excellent opportunity to either bond or argue or how to solve each of the puzzles. The solution to each room will often allow to multiply puzzles to be worked at once, so they never usually a time when the players are standing doing nothing. The ability to look at the same item and see each other curses in a handy collaboration tool. I still haven't solved all the 15 rooms in Escape Simulator nor found all the tokens far from it, but damn, I have a great time. The music keeps your mind calm as you mentally approach each room and its challenges. If ultimately you just can't figure out what to do next, I recommend backing out to the menu and trying another room, as opposed to just going to YouTube and looking up the answer. These types of game and far fun and rewarding if you can work out the puzzles by yourself. Alternatively, phone a friend and get them joined to the fun. The developers said they had 17 of them in the room once, however they recommended 2-3 friends for optimal experience. For those creatively inclined, there is a workshops mod where you can create your own escape room and release this through Steam Community Workshop. I've seen a preview of room based for Indiana Jones and Temple of Dooms, Idol of Pedestal scene and it looked fantastic. It's going to be awesome to see what players come up with. I reckon there will be rooms that will be impossible to beat. Escape Room is a fantastic and challenging puzzle game that really makes you think. It's one of the most challenging puzzles game and some of the puzzles are so bloody clever once you figure them out. Pine Studio keep increasing the quality of their games and I recommend having a look at their previous titles such as Farway Puzzle Escape or The Case of Time. Of course there is always something you missed. Fortunately the puzzles in Escape Room are extremely challenging but in the most positive way possible. It is a fair to say that I am not terribly puzzle inclined. I often find myself stumped at the even the easiest puzzles and was unsurprisingly not much assistance to my sister. However, there are usually enough clues and emerging patterns that eventually players will land upon the solution. The puzzles are challenging enough that the, when you finally solve them you will be filled with an unparalleled sense of glee and accomplishment. However, they are not too challenging that you will be banging your head against a wall. Fortunately, to assist with these difficult puzzles, the developers over a Python studio have implemented something helpful features. For example, all players can look at the interact with the same object. Additionally, items can be stored in a player's inventory so they can access it at a later date. 
this is ensures that not only do they have the time and the items on the hand all the time but they don't clutter up already a chaotic environment unfortunately there is a cave to escape simulator the major issue here is that once you completed the level there is isn't l that much mm, incentive to go back you can try and complete it within the limited time window to open a trophy or earn a trophy doesn't matter however once you figure out the puzzle there will be an easy task to accomplish then therefore not terribly exciting additionally if you were to play alone initially then you can't really bring a friend along to replay the levels with you otherwise you have to force yourself uh, to not help in any way However, despite of all that, Escape Simulator, uh, not only an excellent virtual experience room, but also a phenomenal puzzle title to play with the friends, as I said before. From the offset, the it offers players numerous levels to play through the either alone or the friends, as well as an exhausted level creator. This is by far the best virtual escape room game available, and well, picking him up. Thank you for watching, don't forget to comment and subscribe, peace.